yo that was a good yo feeling good feeling extremely happy this is not a sad video if you think it is you're wrong okay this is a very important video to me and and i felt that uh today with a bunch of different circumstances falling into place and what happened today um i wanted to share it with you guys so if you're new to the channel, uh, this is a waterfowl hunting channel. We do some deer hunting, some coyotes, some pigeon, uh, but hunting, hunting, hunting. This channel grew. Um, what is now Sand Hill Flyways, it supports my guide service, and a lot of you guys come here. And um, back before I started the guide service, I always told you guys, and I always told myself, and I always told my wife. <clears throat> that I would never guide because I didn't want to ruin it for me and I didn't want to ruin it for myself I didn't want to I didn't want to hinder uh, my wife and I's um, marriage um, I'm sure a lot of you can understand where I'm going with that statement uh, it takes a ton and I mean a ton of time away from from you and your family and uh, I am fortunate enough to be able to uh, to have my, my my guide service and my lodge at my home, in my hometown, at my house. The lodge is out back of my house. So I am very fortunate. Uh, but I, I'm just going to go through the whole story. So we're not going to beat around the bush on this deal. You guys will... Um, you guys are gonna go scouting with me. It's, uh, what is it, 4.03 p.m., so it's an afternoon scout. I'm gonna show you some birds, show you what I see. I'm gonna just touch on this subject kind of the whole time. This will not be a long video, and I don't plan, and I don't plan on it being a long video. Um, so, man, I get I get pretty choked up with this. I First time today, I, I, <laughs> I've cried in front of another grown man. If that tells you anything. Uh, so we're now at day, I don't know, probably 80 or 79 straight days. Um, and Gerald, he is, uh, in fact, away from his family, away from his woman and, and his mother. Uh, but he only lives about 45 minutes away. Same thing with Preston. Uh, they get to go home and see their family Um in you know on the weekends if they want yada yada it's still a struggle that is not it's much harder than than what i got going on you know uh but me um even though the lodge is at the house um i feel like i haven't got to spend but not much time with my family and i feel so guilty of that it hurts I mean, it really does. We're, we're planning on an awesome family little getaway this weekend. I'll be at the Chiefs games. What's up? Um, Chief Nation, baby. We can do this. Uh, we're taking the kids to the game. Uh, big Great Wolf action or Great Wolf Lodge and, and just having a bunch of fun together. Thank God because I need this and so do they. They miss me just as much as I miss them. And it pains me to say that. And, being a busy man is is rewarding in a lot of ways, but man, when it hits home like this, when it finally gets to you, you know, this deep in the season and, and you're missing your loved ones and they're missing you so much, I'm at McDonald's. I'll uh, get back with you. I'll just keep talking. Um, it, it gets to be pretty, I don't want to call it depressing. I don't like that word, uh, but it can get a guy down. That's for sure. And so earlier, how all this came about, you'll, you'll love this story. And then I just figured I'd share it with you guys, honestly. Is, um, so Aaron's, Aaron's son is in high school and he's a wrestler and he's a damn good wrestler. He's on varsity, um, always wrestling kids uh, that are, you know, seniors. He is a freshman, I believe. Is a freshman or sophomore? Freshman, I believe. He's a stud buffer. Thank buffing. you for choosing McDonald's today. My name is Victoria. What can I get for you today? I will take a double cheeseburger, a large fry, and a large Dr. Pepper. That'll be it. Gotcha. Anything else? That's it. Alrighty. Your total is going to be at the first window. Please come around. Thanks. 
so you have to say double cheeseburger. So that means two patties on one burger. You have to say a double cheeseburger, a large fry, and a large Dr. Pepper. If you say uh, a double cheeseburger meal, they'll give you two cheeseburgers. I figured that out in the last 36 years of my life. <laughs> uh, so anyways, Aaron's son, stud muffin wrestler. Um, he's, he's doing great in wrestling. Shout out, buddy. I, I really hope that that you crush it, man. You're, you got a lot of um, a lot of talent. I wrestled myself, and I get to watch um, a lot of your not all of them, uh, but when I see your dad uh, watching your meet that your your ma that his mother records and then sends to Aaron, um, it takes me back to being in my high school days wrestling. So uh, you got it going on. Do not quit. You can do this. You can you can be. You're already amazing, but let's get you that damn scholarship. You can do that. I really want to see that happen. Uh, so Aaron's son made, you know, like a, a TikTok or, or Instagram reel or something. And the sound that he used was that sound. A lot of you probably heard it. It goes, uh, how's it go? It goes, you want to know who my hero is? And then there's a pause and it's got some good like loving music in the background and it goes my dad i miss you dad i love you dad da, da, da. and it was pictures and videos of him and his dad and him growing up hmm. and he was so proud of that video that his son made that for him this morning he came up and showed me and and uh his lips started quivering so did mine <laughs> And uh, it really, it really hit me because I felt, again, so damn guilty. Aaron is such a good man. We're uh, Gerald, Aaron, Preston, Bert. Um, Bert dedicates his life up here. He's from Texas, you know, cooking. I mean, I, I do. I'm this is a I'm an emotional wreck after all this. And this, I just again got to share it. Men got to talk more. Um, you gotta do things for each other more. You gotta love each other a little more. Being Mr. Tough Guy all the time and always being a one-upper and making it a, you know, uh, wiener competition. That's not cool, man, and it gets so old. So love each other uh, like brothers are supposed to. Uh, so anyways, Aaron showed me the video. I got choked up. He was so proud of it and, and he, he loved it because he misses his son so much. He's missed all of his wrestling meets and it's just heartbreaking um, for me and obviously for him, but he's used to it and it's, he's doing what a man has to do um, because it is great money um, for, and, and opportunity for any of us, but for him, it definitely helps a lot. And so um, I just automatically felt so guilty of myself for not seeing my kids enough and spending time um, because I am so busy during the season but my wife and then seeing Aaron, man, it really shook me up pretty hard and it hit me to the core. Um, it really did. He, he, he can't be around his family. He, so Aaron lives in Iowa. It's an eight hour drive. He, it's not like he can just go home, uh, when he wants and be back tomorrow, you know? So long story short, he showed me the video. We got choked up. I was like, Oh my God. So my, my head started reeling. And then I went inside, kissed the wife and told her and got choked up again. And then I seen a TikTok reel. I was just relaxing, closing my eyes for a little bit, you know, midday, close my eyes a little bit, rest. And a, a, a reel or a t it was a TikTok came across that it said something along these lines, like, Right now, those little dirty fingerprints all over the counters and the rails and doorknobs and the toys scattered all over the house and the loads of laundry that you haven't been able to get to because you're so busy with kids. Just remember that it, very, very short amount of time, they're gonna grow up. It's gonna go by too fast and you will miss these days so much and you don't realize it. And it was an old man saying it and it just, it got me. It got your boy. I mean, I was straight up. Or, uh, hold on. Sorry, I'm not showing any of the scouting yet, but I did get my Mickey D's. Hello. Uh, it's got to wait. I just want to, 
I want to get to the story. I can show you some scouting here after I'm done with the story. I want to I want to tell you guys the story while it's really fresh um, and I and um, in me and and I feel it and uh, it's very emotional. You know, we're brothers who all live together. Um, I live with these men for four months of my life, and then they go off and do it for another two months uh, chasing the snow geese. So it's it is in fact. Um, a problem it becomes an issue and um, I'm 36 Aaron is 38 Gerald is 34 33 34 um, and, um, and and Preston you know he's a lot younger yes uh, Bert he doesn't have a lady he's looking for Bert, Bert if you know of a really good old lady I shouldn't say old lady, that's kind of disrespectful. A really good <laughs> woman. You just send her old Bert's way. Here's his, I, I, at the real Bert is his Instagram. Please go over there, add him, add me on Instagram. Add all of us guys, you'll find us all on my Instagram. But go uh, go chit chat with old Bert. He needs some, uh, it'd be funny. He's gonna be like, who, what did you do? <laughs> uh, so, Bert's a little different. He, now he has all of his best friends and, and, and family, obviously, um, at home. So being away, you know, um, is is a lot to deal with. And, and it's easier when you're older uh, this age because you just have to, you, you know that you have to bite the bullet, you know, and you, and dad has, to, mom, dad, I don't care if you're a man, woman, and you have to be away. If you're a truck driver, um, if you're a custom wheat cutter you know during harvest anything um if you're a pipeliner if you are uh you know uh, traveling nurse man it's all over the board people have to be gone from their families on certain jobs and career paths so getting back to the story um i after seeing that last video about the fingerprints and you'll miss it uh, man, it was just like three things in a row, smacked me around, just smacked me around, like gave me the eebie-jeebies, uh, cried a little bit more, man, not gonna lie, I felt so much emotion, and, and I called my wife, and I'm like, God, I really miss you, and I really miss the kids, and thank God we're going on this trip this weekend, we need it, she was like, yes, she, and uh, she was like, part of me is ready for the season to be over, because we miss you so much, and I was like, I agree. You know, it's a lot. <clears throat> it's a lot. Um, before I reveal what I did, you know, the surprise, um, back to my other story before I forget the YouTube comment about me never doing it. Um, now it, it's, it's worked out back then. It probably may not have worked out me doing the, the guiding, you know, but now, uh, me dedicating my life to, to YouTube hunting and then now hunting even more and providing and providing uh, and making it more of my career and my and my goals oriented, all this stuff, right? My job. Um, I realized that I'm glad I waited and made sure that it was in fact what I wanted to do because there's no backing out when you have clients coming and they're paying really good money to be here and they're coming across the whole nation or you know, New York, California, we have them, we've had them all. And so, um, I'm glad I did it. And the folks, my guys here at Sand Hill Flower are the best damn team out there. And there's some good ones, man, uh, you know, and some might be a little better, uh, better than us at that and that, at that and this, but to me, the, we, we kill it. We kill it. All of us, Burt, Preston, Gerald, Aaron, Shannon, uh, Beth, anybody, everybody that helps, thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, we kill it. We are an amazing team that provides an amazing experience. I could not have better help um, to do this and get it done right and how I want it to be done, which is right, correct, the first time, every time. And these boys won't take anything. They, they won't. They don't. They won't take anything other than that either. They they want. They want perfection every day. As as close as we can get. That's what we're gonna do. Everybody's on board with that. So, 
we're brothers. These guys are my brothers. You're brothers. And so what I did, um, I was all tore up about it. And it just popped in my head. I'm like, this is our last small group. And then we're going to go to a few big groups. So I'm not going to... Aaron's not going to have the availability to do this. How you doing? Farmer. Uh, pulling into big water here. Um, he's not going to be able to do this, what I'm about to tell you. Uh, if he don't go now, if I don't send him, without him knowing, just surprise him, he will not be able to see his family at all, all the way through snow goose season. And the last time he's seen him was Christmas. So you add that up. I don't know how many days it is, but it from Christmas, so Christmas, January, February, March, March. So three months, pretty much. Three freaking months, and it, it really pissed me off. And I'm like, absolutely not. Not on my watch. I am not going to feel guilty about this, and I will if I don't do this. He's my brother. He deserves this. So me and Beth booked him a flight. He leaves in... Um, leaves in two hours to go home lay in bed with his wife hug his boys and go to his son's his son's wrestling meet tomorrow they get to pick him up at the airport at 11 tonight. <clears throat> and I love it. Absolutely love it. I, I love it. I love, uh, I love the guys. Um, I could not do this without them. I couldn't do it without Gerald, without Aaron, without any of them. <clears throat> and um, taking care of each other again is something us men need to get better at it really is it really is and uh, that man has worked his ass off <clears throat> for me for the cause for the clients he deserves to go home to be able to go home and enjoy a little bit of time, two days, two days, that's all he gets. It's like 50 some hours probably, total. I, I mean, when he's not sleeping, I don't know. He has to come back Sunday. So today's Friday, or sorry, today's Thursday. Shoot, today's Thursday. So hell, he gets, I've been all over the place. He gets um, tonight tomorrow all day saturday and uh all morning sunday it's pretty special and i am so glad that i thought about doing it it just clicked and i'm like oh my god if i don't do it now and i've never thought about it i never thought it would be a good idea because i never thought about it you know and all these things that have added up today just it popped in my head i'm like oh my god and when i told beth she was like that is such an amazing idea, Bobby. Let's do it. And I was like, just book it right now, you know. And yeah, we, we'll be down a guy. Um, Gerald will be here running the hunt, him and Preston, Saturday. But they can do it. We have enough uh, feeds and, and hunting opportunities. <clears throat> They'll be fine. And so I called Gerald before I did book it, before Beth booked it. I was like, are you okay with this? And he said, absolutely, Bob. That's an awesome idea. We are family here. Let me tell you right now. Anybody on that that's on YouTube, any socials that are barking up trees, talking about this is the only good guide service in this area, or you can't make it, you know, in this area if you're not this one guy, yada, 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 bull. We are family here, and we ain't going nowhere, and we are so stable and brothers and integrated together as one man and um, that's the way it should be and it is here we are not going nowhere anywhere nowhere at all 
not anytime soon nor never so get that out of your head number one these boys are the best and if you've been here you know it um, all of them everything from Bert's food to Shannon cleaning her butt off every single day in that lodge keeping it it's spotless and comfortable and smells good it doesn't smell like a freaking gymnasium you know dudes everywhere and farts <laughs> Uh, to all of us providing hunts, man. Um, we got on, we get on each other's nerves. Uh, we bicker a little bit. We never really fight. We never fight. We might bicker at each other a little bit. Kind of frustrated here and there. That happens. That's that's called work, and that's called working with and living with the same dudes every day. But. I felt that uh, I felt that this was a kind of necessary thing to talk about. I haven't had a sit down video in a while and, and kind of expressed myself with something that was either bothering me or or that was important to me that I felt that you guys could take something home from. And this was it. So I just decided to pull out the old phone. I hope it looks decent. So I, I don't want to and, and I don't mean this in the wrong ways at all. <clears throat> so don't take this the wrong way. But a lot of people go, and now I said this video wasn't going to be long. Look, it's going to be long. Uh, a lot of people are like, man, you got the dream job. You got the dream job. Yeah, we, it is. Like, absolutely. It's the job that I wanted to do, that I that I wanted to do. Now, is there anything luxurious about it? Absolutely not. I am not Drake out here, a celebrity. Am I, am I kind of known in the hunting world? Yeah, that's cool because of YouTube, but I am a normal ass dude. I am not kidding, I'm a very normal guy. Um, there's nothing flashy about me. Yes, do I have a Range Rover? Absolutely, but I bought it outright. The first car, first newish car, it's a 2017, it ain't new. I bought it outright. It's the first vehicle, newer vehicle that I've ever paid off. I paid off, you know, older, you know, vehicles, you know, little get her, get her around her deals, but never something that had a price tag on it, you know, a price tag. Um, and I worked for that ability to do that. You know, it's my pride and joy, so is my truck. Um, I work my ass off, we all do. And, and I know you do too at home, no matter what you do, I know everyone that works their ass off. So this video isn't just for the other guides. It's not It's not for just the, the folks that aren't at home, our soldiers, pray for them, pray for them men. Their job is, it's not even comparable. You can't put a number on it. You can't even say 10,000% harder than mine. A trillion percent harder than mine. And they do it. And they have wives and they have daughters and they have sons at home. Pray for them, gentlemen and them women. Thank you for all of your service if you are military. Thank you. Um, I run special ops excursions. They provide, um, I, I don't run special officers. I run hunts for them about once or two, twice a year. Let me rephrase that. And they are um, the special forces, indeed. Um, lots of awesome dudes. Lots of awesome dudes who are the real deal, the uh, real deal. I'm talking little bird pilots, snipers. Um, we've had some pretty notable all of them are very notable and, and very important but we've had some that have been on some crazy missions that you know about and i can't talk about that and i can't even refer to which ones they were and that they were here right those those folks so very privileged for that so big shout out to all of our service all of our service folks thank you thank you from the bottom of my heart if it wasn't for you i would not be able to do this i would not be able to to do what i do Thank you, thank you, thank you for keeping the American freedom to be able to have our dreams and, and chase them alive. Thank you for keeping that alive for us. Thank you. I will end it on that. Take what you can and what you want to from this video. Sorry it was not exciting and sorry we didn't get to showing you any birds. I haven't seen any flying yet. It's probably still too early. So have a great day. Hug your mother, hug your father. Tell your kids you miss them when you know you should and spend that time I'm getting ready to. 
my time with my family starts Saturday morning, baby, and I could not be into any excited, any more excited, man. I'm so thrilled to just have some time with my family, no matter if it's one or two days. So, love y'all. Thank you for being here. Uh, there'll be a, a banger hunt. I got two banger hunts coming. Uh, a banded snow where we shot like 55. It was a really good hunt. And then another snow goose hunt. And then an, we have duck hunting coming up. Duck hunting opens up uh, in these areas uh, Saturday. So I'm ready to go for that. Thank you all. We'll see you on the next one.